congratulations to Virgil Ortiz for knocking out McKinson in the ninth round. Virgil Ortiz did to McKinson exactly what he did to every other fighter he fought, which is knock him out. Improving his record to 19-0 with 19 knockouts, which only means one thing. It's time for Virgil Ortiz to step up in competition. There's no reason whatsoever for Virgil to continue stepping down in competition like he did tonight against McKinson, who had two knockouts on his name. He had two knockouts on his record. There's no reason for Virgil to go from fighting Mean Machine to fighting McKinson, a fighter with two knockouts on his record. Talk about what the fans and the critics call a pillow fisted fighter respectfully. That's McKinson. And that's who Virgil is fighting. The welterweight division is too rich of talent for Virgil Ortiz to continue fighting this low level of opposition. And it ain't just Virgil, it's majority of the Golden Boy fighters from Ryan to Virgil to Munguia and Ramirez, Gilberto Ramirez. They all doing the same thing. Nevertheless, from the first round, it was as clear as day. McKinson had no power to earn Virgil Ortiz's respect. I mean, don't get me wrong. McKinson was hitting Virgil Ortiz at will. He just didn't have the pop to do any damage, which is sad to say, the exact reason why he was selected to be here tonight or to be there tonight. A victim, a sacrifice, AKA a tuna fight for Virgil Ortiz to look good. That's all he was, but even then, surprisingly, McKinson, he managed to hit Virgil Ortiz with everything in the kitchen sink. If that was Crawford or even Jerron Ennis in there, hitting Virgil Ortiz with them exact same shots, Virgil Ortiz would have went to sleep. I'm talking about NyQuil. And Virgil would have went to sleep early, not even late. Therefore, as the fight continued, I started to realize that's the exact reason why Virgil was fighting McKinson. He needed to fight an opponent with some type of skill, but with zero power, or to be fair, 2% level of power in order to minimize the risk when he gets hit. Since he don't have no defense, I mean, let's be real. McKinson was hitting him at will. During the fight, I heard Sergio Mora say, Virgil is such a monster, he throws everything with power. He throws everything with bad intentions, which is true, but that's not necessarily a good thing. That's actually a flaw, a major flaw. In fact, you can ask Bivol when he beat Canelo. He said the same thing about Canelo. Virgil Ortiz never throws setup shots or sets his offense up by throwing decoy punches or snappy shots that don't have that much steam behind them. So the fact that Virgil Ortiz is one dimensional is going to hurt him big time when he steps up in competition. Nevertheless, tonight he did get the job done and got McKinson out of the way in the ninth round with a body shot. Nevertheless, since Virgil Ortiz is not interested in fighting Jerron Ennis right now, I would love to see him fight Connor Ben or even Josh Taylor. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace, and I'm on to the next one.